वेलकम बैक गाइस टुडे वी विल कवर मार्पो लिनक्स 5 प्रिवेंशन ऑफ पोल्यूशन बाय गार्बेज फ्रॉम शिप व्हिच एंटर्ड इनटू द फोर्स ऑन 31 दिसंबर 1988 so i have divided this nx into eight sections first what is garbage second objective of nx5 third applications fourth special areas fifth classes of garbage on ship seventh discharge criteria and the eighth the garbage management plan which includes the garbage record book so before starting let's see how long does it take for the garbage to decompose for a train ticket it takes 2 weeks for an orange peel it takes 6 month for a milk carton it takes 5 years for a tin can it takes 50 years for a battery it takes 100 long years and for a plastic bottle it can take more than 450 years so now you can understand the severeness of this nx so let's see what is garbage garbage includes all kind of food domestic and operational waste all plastics cargo residues incinerated ashes cooking or fishing gear and animal carcasses generated during the normal operation of the ship and liable to be disposed of continuously or periodically garbage does not include fresh fish or parts thereof generated as a result of fishing activities undertaken during the voyage or as a result of aquaculture activities so now let's see what are the objective of nx5 and the application so the objective is marble nx5 seeks to eliminate and reduce the amount of garbage being discharged into the sea from the ships and the application is nx5 applies to all ship which means all ship of any type whatsoever operating in the marine environment from merchant ships to fixed or floating platforms to non commercial ships like pleasure craft and yachts so now let's see what are the special areas under nx5 the mediterranean sea the baltic sea the black sea the red sea the gulf areas the north sea the wider caribbean region the antarctic area now let's have a look of classes of garbage on ship garbage on board a ship are classified into various categories in order to facilitate easy handling and disposing of they are plastics floating dunnage linen and packing materials grounded down paper products rags glass metal bottles and crockery domestic waste incinerated ashes normal paper products rags oily rags glass and metal scraps operational waste animal carcasses on board livestock carriers e waste cooking oil waste produced in the galley cargo residues on board a ship carrying solid cargoes in bulk which are not harmful to the marine environment cargo residues on board a ship carrying solid cargoes in bulk which are harmful to the marine environment so now let's see what are the discharge criteria of above mentioned wastes here you can see four columns first one is for the garbage second one is outside of special areas third is within special areas and the fourth is for offshore platforms for the food waste committed or grounded outside of the special area it can be discharged but it should be more than 3 nautical miles away and within the special area it can be discharged but more than 12 nautical miles from the land and for the offshores discharge is permitted for the food waste not committed or grounded when outside of the special area it must be 12 nautical miles away from the nearest land and within the special area discharge is prohibited and for the offshore it is also prohibited for cargo residues not contained in wash water it must be discharged 12 nautical miles away from the nearest land when outside of the special area and within the special area the discharge is prohibited and for the offshore it is prohibited cargo residues contained in wash water it can also be discharged but more than 12 nautical miles away from the nearest land when outside of the special area and within the special area it can be discharged following these norms cleaning agents and additives contained in cargo hold wash discharge is permitted outside of the special area and following these norms within the special areas cleaning agents and additives in the deck and external surface wash waters discharge is permitted outside of the special area discharge is also permitted within the special area and for the offshore it is not permitted animal carcasses when discharge outside of the special area must be en route and as far as from the nearest land as possible should be more than 100 nautical miles and maximum water depth and within the special area it's prohibited and for the offshore it is prohibited and here is the important one all other garbages including plastic synthetic rope fishing gear plastic bags and other materials outside or inside of the special area it is prohibited to discharge the garbage must be given to the shore facilities so now let's see what is garbage management plan a garbage management plan details procedure for collecting processing and stowing and disposing of the garbage on board a ship The plan also mentions a designated person who is in charge of carrying out the plan. This plan is applicable to the ships more than 100 GRT or certified to carry 15 or more persons and fixed and floating platforms. Training must be given to the ship staff for proper garbage disposal on board ship and for knowledge and garbage disposal regulation at sea and in special areas. So now let's have a look what is garbage record book. The garbage record book consists of all the entries that are to be made while disposing or discharging garbage. All ships which are more than 400 GRT or certified to carry more than 15 persons and fixed and floating platform must carry a garbage record book. The ships under appendix 2 of Marpole NX5 now needs to carry two garbage record books. So the part 1 is for all the garbage other than cargo residues applicable to all ships and part 2 for cargo residues only applicable to the ships carrying solid bulk cargoes. 
in the garbage record book the incinerator operating time that is start and stop time date and position of the ship need to be recorded also a column is provided which records the exceptional discharge or loss of garbage under regulation 7 the part 2 of the garbage record book used on board ship carrying solid bulk cargo is provided with a column for an entry of the cargo residues produced on board along with the position of the ship or name of the port category of the cargo residues and amount discharged to the sea or reception facilities including the start and stop position for the sea discharge when the cargo residues is transferred to the port reception facilities the receipt received from them need to be kept on board as an inspection record for at least 2 years now let's see what all entries are to be made in the garbage record book when garbage is discharged into the sea reception facilities or other vessels when garbage is incinerated accidental or other exceptional discharge of garbage along with the time of occurrence port or position of the vessel at the time of occurrence category of the garbage and estimation of the amount in meter cube and the reason of the disposal and remarks with this guys we are done with the next 5 i hope that you like the video do subscribe the channel and don't miss to hit that like button If you want this note you can join our telegram channel link is given in the description your subscription is our motivation we'll see you in the next one